So, so far in this course, we've been talking mostly about Earth orbit and maybe visiting the other planets. Now, but as we talked about in the planets course, yep. really our own solar system is, I mean, I think it's very interesting, <laughs> but there are no planets with lush jungles. Nope. There's no intelligent life out there to meet. They're, they're all near barren, icy wastelands. Um, so really, well, there's a lot we could do with that. It'd be much more fun to go off and find a nice Earth-like planet. To That's do right. that, we're going to have to go to an, a planet orbiting another star. We're going to have to do interstellar. So that means going to a new star rather than interplanetary, which is going to a new planet. Exactly. You know, and as you said, it's nice to study the solar system like as a, an exhibit in a museum, but for holiday destinations, you really have to go somewhere else. And that's going to be the, the focus kind of, of of this part of the course, which is the last part, is the, the challenges and the opportunities, let's say, that present ourselves in traveling to a different star system. Now, I think the first thing that we have to think about when we're talking about interstellar travel is it's a whole different ballgame. Like, OK, I could ride a, a cycle. It's now saying, I'm going to go ride in the Tour de France. It's a very different set of challenges, one that is very in the realm of down the road possibilities. So we're really getting into more science fiction That's right. um, than uh, solid science at this point. I mean, at the moment, the furthest we've gone with humans is the moon. And That's we right. sent space probes out past Pluto. Yep. And uh, as we'll see in a second, uh, that's not very far compared to the distances involved in interstellar travel. It, it really is. As you said, it really is in the realm of, of science fiction and, and just not any time soon. And I think we sometimes think of, oh, sure, we can get to the moon. We're talking about the Mars. Interstellar's next. Well, uh, not quite. And this is what we're going to focus on in this part of the course is those, those real limitations. Now, there is real work to be done and real science to be had, uh, which I think is exciting. But when we really start to put in a picture, it is dramatically, dramatically further than everything else. So we, we've done a few different parts of the scales in the beginning of this course. Now we're gonna go take a look about how we apply the scale of the solar system to now the scale of some of these nearby stars. <laughs> 